Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back with more Almost My Floor. Soon you will become one of us. Okay, that's... You are way less chatty than every other wall person we've seen. Stick. Bone. Can't reach it. Need something to pick it up. Okay, I just got a stick. There we go. There's a bone there, but it's kind of held in the teeth door. Hey, look, it's a teeth eye. Give me that bone. Pop it on out. There we go. Yes, I, I heard you. I didn't mean to click on you, dumb head. Boink. You dumb head. Free bone. All right, I could go in that room, but uh, the plot reason for going in that room comes this way. Ah! ah! Don't worry, they don't bite. They're just playing. Here, eat this. One. Two. Three. Now they nap. I killed him. I counted every time the knife hit. Twenty-eight times. I couldn't stop myself. My son. My dear Madeline. Your screams will haunt me forever. It will be my punishment. I wonder what this place has in store for you, newcomer. I see my dogs took a liking to you, letting you pass so easily. I'm well liked by dogs. I had a doggo. I love my doggo. Then my doggo ate a chunk of meat. And? And now I no longer have a doggo. So somebody poisoned Jack? Oh. My sweet pups are an essential part of my life. I won't even leave my apartment without them. I am not even going to acknowledge your statement. What's your name? Have we met? My name is Lilia. Do you remember me? I'm an acquaintance of Nika. Oh yeah, Lilia. I remember you coming by our place a few times. That was so long ago and you look different now. Wow, you're very observant. When was the last time you saw Nika? We haven't talked since the accident. It's been over a month at least. What accident? Ah, she never told you. I say you could see, after the accident I became less mobile and lost quite a few friends. I don't get what you're talking about. Forget it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't like being pitied. What cute dogs. They almost ripped my pants. Oh, stop exaggerating. My doggies never bite for real. They only want to play. Play with my pants? That could be taken so wrong. Is there any reason? Oh, can you help me get to the elevator? Is there any reason for me to help you? Maybe because I'm so handsome? Out of Pete, is there any reason for me to help you? Uh, maybe I can help you with something and you'll do me a favor in return? Could be a difficult task. Are you prepared? I need a book. A plant encyclopedia. It's a large green tome. You can find it in my room. As you can see, it's not easy for me to run around in my current condition. Alright, I'll get that book. This drove me nuts on my initial playthrough. The other key that we need in that room is in the room. And I kept looking for this, this key in there, because I was like, why would it be out there? But it was out there. All along. There we go. See, there's these book. There's this book puzzle on the shelves, and there's a drawer in here that opens to get one key. Ah! Thank God it's gone. And here I thought I'd need some crap to get need to think of some crap to get rid of him. All right. Postcard. Hmm. I'm. S Hello, Lila. I'm sending you my first postcard. Well, I guess you don't really need to read her writing in her voice. Uh, this is Nika. Send me the first postcard. It's amazing. It's got a red triangle roof, just like in the picture. What red triangle roof? Okay, red triangle, round lake with fresh blue water, where I'm going swimming, blue circle, red triangle, blue circle. Bought some square flower beds and planted yellow flowers there. Also some old round flower beds where I planted some greenery. So, uh, she went to the lake. I didn't go back with her because I wanted to be left alone. Said I wasn't feeling well. I miss her so much. Looks like Nika and Lilio were good friends. But I haven't seen Lilio lately. Why'd they stop talking to each other? Alright, so, red triangle roof, lake blue, round blue lake, yellow flowers in the square box, and greenery. There we go. Oops, gotta read the other note, even if I know what it says. Mm. Hey, Lie, did you get the, uh, Lee, did you get the first postcard I sent? Haven't heard back from you. Regardless, here's the second one. I went to the market today, and I saw so much delicious fruit there. Couldn't help myself and bought a huge round red watermelon. Then I went and bought stamps. 
So red and the rest are squares. Green, red, blue. Round red melon. Uh, squares. So green, red, blue. Boink. Yeah, see the first key's in here, and I, so I went nuts looking for the second one. And it was out in the hall the whole dang way. Whole dang time. Alright, and once again, it's time for everybody's favorite game. Stuffing stuff that would not fit into our pants, into our pockets. Boom. Problem solved. Book achieved. The doggos are fed and calm now. All right. Thanks, Alex. Or, th thanks, Alex. And then it goes all weird. Went all spooky. What happened? Where am I? Ugh, infinite hallway. Well, not infinite, but you'll see. You can, you can only move in a crawl. And the elevators keep disappearing, so you just keep walking down the hallway. Nothing else can be done about it. I'm gonna speed this bit up a bit. Because it's kinda tedious. Not as bad as the shaggy dog hallway from Neverhood, though. That thing went on forever. Dear God, you stopped to read it? Man. I would turn a four, four or five hour game into a ten hour game. Yes, when I'm not falling for the stupid elevator game again. I already know it's gonna vanish. There we go. Hey, somebody's playing Don't Start Together. It's Pike. Okay. Pike's good people. I'm not giving his full Steam name. I don't wanna, like, draw attention to people. Alright. So many ceiling hands and green eyeballs. Good lord, that took forever. Well, maybe not forever, but still, it was kind of tedious. Oh, I got lucky. Looks like Mof my and Lila's, uh, yeah, Lilia's apartment at the same time. Hmm. This is his own diary. Hello, dear diary, another day totally by myself. Nika left three days ago. Yesterday, I brought Jack to the vet. Diagnosis grim. Paid a visit to that Dr. F guy. He prescribed me a ton of pills and demanded I keep a diary. To think I spent so much money on that doctor. I feel scammed. I still haven't been able to throw away Jack's bowl. I don't want to get rid of things. It's like he's still here. His leash, favorite ball, couple of photos. All that reminds me of my best friend. That's sad. Well, 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 what do we have here? Some old articles? Victims of a serial killer or, or, or family tragedy? The entire Reed's family's been found murdered in their apartment. This isn't the first time apartment 75 was the scene of such a deadly misfortune. A mass suicide happened there ten years ago. If you want to rent this place, don't forget to ask for a discount. So what? Now the ghosts of dead people have turned into monsters and are attacking me? I think every apartment building has a horror story of this sort. Yeah, no, no. No, there, most apartment buildings do not have anything like happens here. No mass suicides, no serial killers. Wait, there shouldn't be an elevator here. I think I've gone crazy, but I th I'll keep going if only to satisfy my curiosity. I just hope Nika's all right. All right. Elevator go up. Oh, elevator vanish completely. All righty. Doop, 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 doop. Feels like I'm being bounced all around the building. Which floor of this accursed place am I on now? Am I even in the same apartment building where I live? The most important thing is Nika's safety. I won't forgive myself if something's happened to her. If I like to go back in time when Nika was with me and Jack was still alive. I miss you both so much. Being kind of a downer there, Alex. Chapter 5. Crimes and Criminals. Alex is, Alex is not here. I have to check the other floors. Ah! Yeah. Looks like Alex is not going to forgive himself. If anything happened to her, I won't forgive myself. Damn it! Speak of the devil. No body, no crime. Or so they say. I have to call the police. Yeah, she did. Greetings, my name is Adam Trust, Detective Number 7897. A young woman's body, Dark Street, House 9. House 9. The squad will come in 15 minutes. Please await their arrival. Bummer, man. 
Not bomber, man. Bummer, comma, man. I have some time to inspect the cream sign, the cream sign, crime scene before the police arrive and mess up the evidence. Yeah, I don't think the police. Well, these might. They seem to be kind of incompetent. Her clothes match the description from the day she went missing. Her hands are bruised. I suspect dislocation or even fractures. She was either tortured or dragged around carelessly. The body is still warm, so the murder happened quite recently. Nika disappeared a week ago. Where's she been all this time? I smell a faint hint of cinnamon coming from the body. I can see evidence of dragging on the floor. The murder did not happen in this elevator. Is it possible the murderer couldn't pick up the body or was in a hurry? Why was it necessary to drag it so carelessly and leave traces all around? Traumatic brain injury, and particles of gold paint and slivers of wood in the wound. I can assume the wound was inflicted by the statuette I found in the trash on the street. Why did the murderer choose such a sloppy way to get rid of the weapon? The angle of the head looks unnatural. Her neck seems to be broken. Was that the cause of death? A proper examination is necessary to determine whether the fracture happened before or after her death. Nil. Her bracelet is broken. It has some pretty unique beads with the letters N, I, and L. Nil? I don't recognize anybody by that name. Maybe it's an abbreviation of sort? Perhaps beads are missing. Hey, what's happened? <gasps> Nika! Stay back. You don't need to see this. What happened to Nika? Yeah, this is what the plant lady looks like to everybody else that isn't Alex. What happened to Nika? I'm afraid she's dead. The police are on their way as we speak. Let me introduce myself. Adam Trust, a detective. I need to ask you a few questions. Uh, all right, Adam. My name is Leela. I live a few floor, a couple floors up from here in the building. Were you well acquainted with Nika? She was one of my, just one of my neighbors. We didn't talk much. Why are you so upset about just a neighbor dying? I don't see deadly people. I don't see dead people every day, detective. I'm not very mobile, if you know what I mean. Can you tell me anything about Alex? You knew Nika, so maybe you crossed paths with him as well. Yes, they live together. They seem to be arguing a lot lately. I saw Alex like ten minutes ago on my floor. He was very nervous. Kept shouting. Did he kill Nika? I wouldn't be surprised. Alex isn't going anywhere. The police will take care of him. Do you have any other sus Do you have any other suspects? Sorry, I don't get out of my apartment often, so I don't know a lot of what's going on. You got here somehow, didn't you? Yes, but I can't even walk. I mean, to go to the market by myself. They didn't install ramps for disabled people outside. What's all this commotion? <gasps> Nika, what happened? That bastard Alex should be punished. Calm down. Why do you believe he's the murderer? He argued so much with Nika. Duh. Who else could have done this? Only him. Nika was missing for more than a week, but the death looks very recent. Where's she been all this time? How the hell do I know? Maybe he was keeping her hostage. You seem to have a lot of maybes and what? how the hell do I knows for someone making an accusation. Doesn't look all that simple. She clearly does not have a mop or broom with her in this. Adam Trust, I pursue, I suppose. Yes, that's me. You've done your job. Now please don't get in our way. Police will take over the case from here on out. You ladies can move along too. You don't need to see this. We'll ask you questions later. Come, Miss Lily. Come, Miss Lily. I'll help you, Lily. I'll help you get to your apartment. Thank you. Living in this building is scary sometimes. So why don't you leave? Since the accident, the only income I have is my disability benefits. I don't have the money for a decent apartment. I lost my job. I had nothing. All because of that blasted accident. I shouldn't be the one in this wheelchair. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, nothing terribly unusual. I was walking by a coffee house called Coffee Break and got hit by a car. Did you work there? Not quite. I prefer not to talk about it today. Too much has happened already. We've arrived. I'll stop by later since I'd like to talk to you in more detail. I, I don't think I know anything useful. You never know. Even small things can be useful. Very well, Detective. The police will take care of Alex from here on out. I'm not going to chase him around the building. Besides, the officers could use a workout. I'll talk to him at the police station later. I think it's time to visit Dr. F. However, he's a busy man. I should warn him of my arrival. Beep, 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 beep. Good evening. I'm uh, good evening, Doctor Frodigal. It's Adam Trust. I'm going to stop by and pay you a visit in about forty minutes. Ad Adam, did something happen? Your voice is shaking. I'll tell you everything in, I'll, about everything in person. See you soon. See, see you shortly, Adam. At least he is not calling me dear this time. Did it twice. First time.
Okay, Adam and the Alex in the elevator again. Looking around, do -de do do -de do 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 do. I'm not in control. He's doing all this himself. Whoa! Eyeball flood. Ah! Um. Come with me if you want to live. Okay, that's her voice now. <laughs> live with it. <laughs> so many eyeballs in this eyeball flood. Thanks for the help. Who are you? What's your name? I've never seen you here before. My name is Kate. I've lived here a long time. I just don't go outside much. The neighbors aren't very friendly, you know. Uh, you said you lived here a long time. I heard a maniac killed a bunch of people in this place a year ago. Do you know anything about that? He was no crazier than the rest of us. Just this, this building. You wouldn't believe it. I think I'm ready to believe anything at this point. I'm sure this place feeds on the suffering of its inhabitants. You can't find anyone without misfortune in their lives. Dead relatives, difficult childhood, or something worse. Everyone suffers, and this place makes you suffer even more. A year ago, one of the inhabitants couldn't take, handle it, and he... Why are you crying? It was my father. He couldn't resist the building's corruption. He'd scream it was watching him, and he couldn't escape. Said everyone around him was a monster. Then he'd become a monster, too. Even Dr. F couldn't help him. My father killed five people and disappeared. Why didn't you just move out after that happened? I want to figure out what's happening here. I still hope to find my father. Can you see all the horrors around us? I can. It's why I try not to leave my apartment. At least it's safe in here. That means I'm not crazy. That means we're both crazy. Kate's interested in music and our tastes are so alike. Dr. F provide, prescribed the same pills for me. Kate, you take pills too? I went to Dr. F for therapy, just like my father, but it did us no good. You can't defeat this building so easily. Kate's, er, Kate's been collecting these for a while. Looks like this place has always had certain incidents. Whatever happened to her father is far from the only case. It was just the most publicly known one. It's a collection of posts from a blogger with the username Robin Bobbin. He was also living in this place. <laughs> It was my father, he couldn't resist the building's corruption, so he'd scream it was watching him, and he couldn't escape. Said everyone around him was a monster, he'd become a monster too. You're literally quoting her. Killed five people and disappeared. Alright, day two. Hi everyone, feeling awful today. Again, it's text, so I'm not giving it a voice. It's literally in-universe, it's text. I could barely get out of bed. The walls seemed to press in on me. I've heard voices during the night, but it could just be the pipes or something. I'm really afraid of the elevator. Dr. F says it's all self-hypnosis based on self-induced negative thoughts and the fear only lives in my head. I can't take any more. Please help me. No more posts at all. What happened to this guy? And no, that was not her father. What if it's a weird series of coincidences? All these cases look too similar to be a coincidence. My father, me, that blogger guy. Blogger? Blogger. All of us felt the same. You can see the horrors yourself. You see, you see the horrors too. You said it yourself. Maybe Nika can see them. I'm sure this place feeds on the suffering of its inhabitants. You can't find anyone without misfortune. Why are you repeating yourself? How do we get? How do we get out? Can't go through the window, and the monster's waiting on the other side of the door. We can jump out. I looked out the window. It's an infinite skyscraper. I'm not jumping into the abyss. Don't worry. I tried jumping out of the window in despair and just ended up in the street. That's how I buy stuff in the shop now, and it works fast. Are you kidding me? No, I'm trying to make the best out of the situation. It's impossible. Are you still surprised at things that happen in this building? In this reality, anything is possible. What if you just want to get rid of me? It's your choice to believe me or not. If you can't, feel free to try the elevator. I guess I have to believe you. Jump out. I don't remember her giving you permission to take her nail bat. Hello? Chapter 6. Dr. F. Foydulous clinic, clinic, clinic is famous in this city. The design, the design is, is awful, though. I wouldn't want to get treatment there. Good evening. 
Good evening. I'm Adam Trust, a private detective. I'd like to talk to Dr. F. I recently made a call. Got here as fast as I could. Dr. F is expecting you, Adam. Please go join him in his office. Can't really dig around with him here. So clicking on things is kind of pointless. He'll just say I can't root around in his stuff with him watching. Doctor, I'm afraid to tell you Nika Gortez is dead. We found her body and an investigation is underway. Oh my god, you have my full assistance, Detective, but please be mindful of medical confidentiality. I cannot disclose contents of any private conversations I've had with patients to you. Very well, I'll ask general questions. You worked with Nika, but also her boyfriend, Alex? Yes, they had issues in their relationship. I think it's mainly because they both lost their jobs. Did Alex have certain outbursts of aggression? Uh, he was only aggressive towards me. I'm afraid he didn't think much of my unique method of therapy. With Nika, though, however, he'd always been very calm and polite. What have you been doing the last three hours? Well, I was at the clinic. I had left for dinner a couple of hours ago and shortly returned before your visit. Can someone confirm your whereabouts? If you're looking for an alibi, I have none. I had dinner at home this time around, and I took work with me. Have you worked with any other inhabitants of the apartment complex at 9 Dark Street? I've worked with many inhabitants of that tenement. I spent a lot of time with Kate and Alex Bennett. Once I had a therapy session with the cleaning lady Zena Ribbons, but apparently she couldn't afford services regularly, so we haven't met again. Local blo blogger named Robin visited too, although he, I feel he was just gathering information to make new posts. There may have been someone else, but I can't recall, detective. Can you describe your therapy sessions? I'm conducting brain stimulation therapy with my own patented device. It causes an alteration of nerve activity through targeted delivery of a stimulus. I doubt that explanation would mean much to you, Adam. Can I have a look at the device? I apologize. I have to refuse your request. Secret technology, and I'm only willing to comply if you have a search warrant. Don't you find it strange many of your clients become involved in criminal cases? Could your therapy have something to do with this? Detective, people only think my, seek my services if they already have issues. You can't hold me responsible for what they did or what they might do. I am trying to help them to the best of my ability. Medicine is not perfect. My therapy sessions do no harm, I assure you. Doctor, patient number 29 needs help. It's urgent. Please come to room 15 immediately. Adam, dear, I'm afraid I must leave you for a moment. Please wait for me here. I'll be back soon. We will continue our conversation. He's either a fool to leave me alone here, or confident I won't find anything incriminating. Pretty sure it's the latter. I need to look around very carefully. My intuition tells me Dr. F is hiding something. Keycard. His briefcase. What do we have here? A wallet with money and family photo. Dr. F's daughter looks ill. I imagine he wants to help her get better. Freud is a very... Freud... Dr. F is a very talented doctor. If anyone can help her, it's him. Well, he's a psychologist, and she's obviously physically injured. A peculiar illustration. I feel the urge to talk already. Root around in the desk. Hmm. Patient records. Dr. F prescribed all the residents of Nine Dark Street fairly strong antidepressants, antipsychotics, and tranquilizers. Naturally, such a combination results in a side effect of migraines, which were then combated with piniferin. Why such a killer drug cocktail? Were the patients really sick enough to warrant that? One of the notes says, the drug of my own design. This document is on Nika. Let's see, test results. Light responsiveness, reflexes, and Dr. F's report. Due to the combination of drugs and therapy sessions with my personal device, it was possible to achieve an increase in brain activity. The, patient's notes, the patient notes an improvement in memory and learning ability. However, the patient is also complaining about hallucinations again. I need to either prescribe a larger dose of, the, dose of the drug or change its composition. It's dangerous to continue the therapy in its current state. I thought I had found the right combination, but it seems like I'll have to start all over again. So Dr. F is testing his own drugs on his patients? But why would why only the inhabitants of the apartment complex at 9 Dark Street? Because they tend to be poor and don't have as many connections, that's my guess. According to the record oh, according to the records of the other patients, they were treated in line with the standard protocols. Chloe, F. Her condition seems far from the best. Supportive care has helped her on hold for the last few years. But it can't go on forever, I'm afraid. Oh, and there's a drawing. At least I can see that genius Dr. Freudigal is still human like the rest of us. Watch stopped working. It's stuck on 1408. Why didn't he repair it? it looks like too expensive to hide in a drawer or throw away. 1408. Oh, Always check email first. Checking email, I'm checking the email. 
Jessica, I need a list of the residents of the tenement at 9 Dark Street. Some crimes there have unleashed an interesting series of rumors, making you an excellent subject for my experiments. For the purity of research, all patients must be in the same environment. Please send a courier to distribute leaflets to the clinic to their mailboxes. Maybe connect maybe connected to my case. I need to learn more about these experiments. I guess he was reading it aloud. You got a medal of merit in brain research. Dr. F is a genius psychotherapist, but the genius is often akin to insanity. An exemplary family man. This could serve as a good cover story for him. You're pretty sure he's... I hate this particular test. I never see anything but eat blots. And I've examined pretty much everything. Dr. F has an impressive list of achievements. Pull the curtain. Hmm. The door is securely locked. Dr. F prepared for my visit. I can only see a bed and various devices from here. And I can't tell a thing about them. Damn, I'm certain there's something important in there. Well then, how about we use the key card? There we go. Dingus problem solved. Hey, those beads! A, I mean, A-I-L-X. Alex. But that's not how it's spelled. These beads are similar to the ones I found on Nika's corpse. She was here, but how long ago? His patient records. Why are they scattered on the floor? The hallucinogenic effect is weak. Brain activity did not significantly increase, and pupils react to light as well. The patient asks too many questions and may be suspecting something. Was Nika starting to realize she was being experimented on? Sounds like a motive for murder, and Dr. F doesn't have an alibi. I have another suspect. Let's look at Alex's record. I have not observed the hallucinogenic effect, the expected hallucinogenic effect, though brain activity has multiplied and pupils react to light faster than usual. Additionally, the readings are similar to those of Alex Bennett, but the lack of hallucinations paired with such brain activity is unusual. Further examination is in order. Freud Goldstein, uh, Dr. F states the brain wave, something, sorry, we got distracted, but what do I know about it? One more record. Alex Bennett. The name sounds familiar. Ah, Kate's father. I haven't received any info on him from the classified archives. Let's have a look. Brain activity increased tenfold, but the patient's stability leaves much to be desired. Stability? Stability. The brain is creating a new reality I cannot, it cannot cope with. Hallucinations are not only visual and auditory, but tactile as well. The patient is completely rebuilding the world around them, maybe to the point where they could believe their own death. This is extremely interesting. I cannot interrupt the experiment, not when I'm so close to witnessing peak brain activity. Sounds like Kate's father went crazy. When the hell am I going to get the date on him from the classified archive? After the case is solved, most likely. Damn the bureaucracy. Maybe Alex is suffering from the same thing. Maybe he's living in an imaginary world where Nika is dangerous. Did he kill her in a fit of insanity? I need to find more clues since Alex is not the only possible murderer. Pillow! I'll take a blood sample, but I doubt it'll the result will all arrive as soon as I like. Jessica, everything is under control. Change his drip twice a day. Freudigal is close. I gotta leave. Yeah, I know I'm not saying it right. Dear Adam, I beg your pardon for such a lengthy, lengthy absence. I hope you haven't been too bored without me. Do you have any remaining questions? When was the last time Nika attended therapy? Just a little over a week ago. Did you meet her again after that session? I'm afraid not. She had an appointment scheduled for tomorrow, but obviously she won't be making it. I feel sorry for her. Have there been any, any recent events of note with your patients? Unexpected situations happen, as you yourself saw today. But believe me, my friend, my therapy sessions do not cause harm to my patients. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened here in several years. No more questions. I have your business card. If I, work, if I remember anything, I'll give you a call. I can't accuse Brodula right now. Not enough evidence. Any attorney worth his money will refute my claims. In a All right. Alrighty. Ah! Alrighty. And we're on the street. Yay! We made it. The pigeons look very different. Are you alright? Did you get hurt? I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. But we can't get far since the path is blocked. We can only be free if we destroy this building. What's our plan? I'm an expert in horror movies, not action movies. I have a plan. Let's burn everything. Find gasoline. Lots of it will burn this damn place to ashes. 
But what about the neighbors? I get that you're furious, but isn't this going too far? Trigger the alarm so the neighbors will evacuate and won't be hurt. Although, it did get turned off thanks to false alarms a couple days ago. You should be able to turn it on in the control room. Gotcha. Solid plan. Sounds foolproof. I'm starting to like Kate. I'm starting to like Kate. The girl's got balls. Well, I think she's a psycho. Hey, 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 look, bro. Listen. Why bother with the alarm? The neighbors aren't nice people to begin with, so why bother being nice to them now? You shouldn't even consider that, Alex. Don't you remember the never-ending drilling, the garbage piled up around the entrance, the drunk fights, and the screaming? Remember how you said you wished all those annoying pricks would die? We could do just that. You're not a murderer. You're not a murderer if nobody knows. Are those pigeons? So cute. I really could tear my finger off with ease. Coo, coo, coo. Coo that away from here or I'll bite you. And they all say the exact same thing. All of them pigeons. I moved out, but the building still has me in its grasp. I went to the other side of the country. I saved myself and dealt with all of it. It's not fair. Alright, storage closet, but that's all locked up. How can I cut this chain, I wonder? They're reusing assets, because there's that bottle of solvent right there. Destroy! Kill! Save us all! I don't really trust your advice, buddy. Open this up. Of course, there's a fuse blown. Looks like the fuse is blown. Alright. I can't go downstairs until I have found it. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. Good night.